Hey guys, welcome to another video, Dusty here. In today's video, I am in iOS 12. I actually have my new iPhone um, 10s Max here that I'm using, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you're using the new iOS version 12, you're gonna be able to uh, access a really amazing new feature called Shortcuts. Now, you need to go to the App Store and download it. The app's gonna look like this here in the lower right-hand corner there where you see Shortcuts, really cool-looking icon there. And this app used to be called Workflow, and then Apple bought it out and made it basically one of their native apps, and it is absolutely amazing. So actions, uh, basically Shortcuts, are going to be actions that you automate. So tasks that you automate, whether it's one task or multiple tasks at the same time, it'll allow you to say small phrases and commands that will perform actions on your smartphone. So uh, before now, Honestly, I didn't use Siri that much. It wasn't very useful, to be honest with you. I used it on my Apple Watch, but now I've found myself using it more and more with the new shortcuts feature. So watch this here. Hey Siri, record audio. Now, as you can see, I have a shortcut that allows me to pull up the audio recorder just by saying those two words. So it allows me to basically utilize a couple of words, whether it be one word or phrases. And then as you can see here, I have one that logs my workouts. I have one that records audio. And then I have one that gives me directions home from my current location. Now, I'm gonna show you how to create shortcuts as well as install some from the gallery. So if you wanna create your own shortcut, download the Shortcuts app, make sure you're running iOS 12, go right here where you see library, and you're only going to see one here that says create shortcut. Click that little blue icon there. You're gonna see something that says untitled shortcut. Now, down below, if we scroll up, we're going to see all of the different kind of actions. Now, this isn't all of them. And as you know, app developers become more and more aware of what they can do with shortcuts, you're gonna see more and more stuff here. Uh, this is only the beginning of this. So as you can see here, I can scroll down and I can actually see the different things that I can do here and add different actions to my shortcut. Now, let's say I wanna go here and I want to, let's see here, what do I wanna do? I wanna send a message to someone that I send a message to very frequently, so I click on send message there. It says shortcuts does not have access to your contacts. Definitely you want to allow access for shortcuts to have access to that. Then who do you want the recipient to be? All of these will have different features where you can go and add the, I guess you would say the corresponding thing needed to make the actual task run or automation run. So click the blue addition symbol there. I wanna go ahead and add my wife, so I'll go ahead and search for her there. Click her name there, that will add her to the recipients. And then what I wanna do is give this shortcut a name. So basically I'll click the little white and blue things there in the upper right hand corner. And this will allow me to go and add not only a name, but also a icon. If I wanted to add it to the home screen, I'll show you how to access these shortcuts very soon. So let's go ahead and name this one here text wife, wolf, that's not right, text wife, and then click done. I'm gonna go ahead and change the icon by clicking that there. There's my color green. You can change the icon to whatever you want it to be. Since it is my wife, I will add a heart right there, and then I'll click done. And then if you want it to show in widget, you can basically click the check mark there. If you wanna show in share sheet, which I don't really recommend, you can do that. And if you want to add this to the home screen, you can click the button there that says add to home screen. And then if I do that, and it's gonna show you exactly how to add that to your home screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to shortcuts now and then click done. Now what you need to do to go ahead and set up Siri to where you can just say a few words is click the icons there to edit it once more. And then once you've done that, go to add to Siri, which is right there. And then you're going to basically record the actual words you want to say for the shortcut. So let's go ahead and click the record button now, text wife and then hit the stop record button there. And then once you're done, basically hit the done up there in the upper right hand corner. And now when I go here, I'm on my home screen and I go, hey Siri, text wife. It'll run the shortcut just like that. And then basically I can go in here and text my wife. Very, very easy. Man, what a cool feature. Now, if you wanna go back and edit one of these shortcuts, you click the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the icons. You can move them around and manage them just like you would apps on your phone by clicking and holding there and pressing down and going deeper into them. Or you can just hold down on them and they'll start to wiggle and you can move them all around. Now, you can launch shortcuts just by going into the shortcuts app and then basically tapping on one of them like I did there, and it'll launch that as well. Now, if you wanna go in and 
install one of the already pre-made shortcuts from the gallery, which by the way is amazing. You select the gallery option there in the lower right hand corner and you can go here and look at all of the different things that people have created. Uh, play playlist, home ETA, browse top news, uh, play entire current album. And again, depending on the apps that you have, you'll be able to go in here and see the different ones broken down by like morning routine, quick shortcuts, the ones that are featured right now, the ones related to Apple Music and health and calendar stuff, all of that's here. And then all you basically need to do is go through here and let's say you want to go ahead and add this one here that says log water, uh, basically get shortcut just like that there. It'll add it to your library, go back to your library, and now you can see the one from the gallery has now been moved over to your shortcuts app. Now, there are so many things that you can do with this little application. Uh, it's amazing. I just think there's going to be so many things that we can do with this as creators that can help us with our workflow, with our efficiency. Uh, let me know which ones you've created down below. Hopefully this helped you out. If you have any other questions about this app, how to create Siri shortcuts on iOS 12, please let me know down below. Thank you guys as always for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.